great to meet you. Thanks so much for your time Thank today. You. Um, I'd like to talk about the techie side of the. Oh, the well, movie. let's go techie. Um, because when you look at it on the face of it, the Smurfs. Obviously, you've got the little people that run yeah. around the little Smurfs yes. with the with the live action people. But yeah. can you talk about some of the advancements from the first movie to the second movie in this one? I think most of the advancements uh, are going to be in like the, the skin texture and in the eyes and um, just uh, everything we could do to make them look as real as possible. Uh, and, and also, the story's a bit more dramatic than the last one. I mean, it's all, it has all the smurfy fun and cartooniness that one would expect, but there are moments where uh, it's very dramatic. And so there'll be a level of performance that uh, people, I think, won't expect, and it'll, it'll surprise them. And it's something we never sort of got near in the first movie. So I think it's a combination of story structure and also just the technology of making the hair look that much better and the, and the Smurfs look that much more real. And with regards to actually filming it, I know you shot an awful lot of it in Paris and yes. you can't fly helicopters in and around, but you showed us that you were using drones for actually mm. for, to film it. They, that took a lot of doing. That took a lot of doing and working with a lot of different authorities. And uh, I, I got to give it to the producers, Jordan Kerner and Raphael Bunuel, who was our um, French producer. Um, they, we wanted to do more, but they, they allowed us to fly over the Tuileries Garden and around the famous Ferris wheel uh, before the park opened in the morning. And then they let us fly around the, uh, the miniature version of the Statue of Liberty, uh, Ile, Ile du Cine, I think it's called, um, and they cleared the boat traffic. So um, they were very cooperative. Um, we wanted to do more around, around Notre Dame, but certainly understood when they next to that but um, no it was it was a lot of uh, it took a lot of doing but we got it done do you ever find it surreal though when you're doing this stuff that you know you've got your guys i assume with their remote controls piloting the drones and things and and you think how you know how, how have we got to this this position that we're in i you know every new technological advancement that helps move the camera easier than it does i'm thrilled with because camera there's so much engineering goes into moving a camera they're they weigh a hundred and something pounds and so to hoist a camera up 100 feet, it takes thousands of pounds of engineering to do. And I think, this is silly. We, just, we should be able to just put a lens up there and like have the rest of the camera you know, wireless or something. So I think I, I hope that it'll get to that uh, uh, direction, because I think that there's just so many great shots. As a director, there's like so many shots you'd love to get, but there's just no way to, to do at this moment. Yeah, and, and I guess this is such animation heavy, but also live action as well. So how do you split your time between the two? Well, um, uh, mostly we, we prepare to shoot a movie and we shoot the live action uh, and we plan for the animation. Um, you know, in the morning I, I get my little stuffy Smurfs and stage them for the camera people and, and for the actors so everyone knows who's where. Uh, and then we shoot without the Smurfs there, um, the, the people and their reactions. And then after the actors go away, we shoot actually whatever the Smurfs might be, like if the Smurfs in my hand, then I need, I need to get a camera and shoot him as if he's in my hand. So that's sort of how it goes. And like first week is kind of weird for the crew, but after that, it's just, okay, everyone knows what's going on. Um, and, and it's just a lot of planning. And, um, and then phase two is the animation. After we've wrapped shooting, now we start animating for real. And we're putting, it starts with a storyboard, and then um, we start putting animation into all those little plates I shot. Cool. Or Smurf on a hand or whatever. I've got to wrap up, but when, when are we going to expect Smurfs 3? <laughs> well, uh, hopefully the, uh, the world will embrace Smurfs 2. And if that happens, then, um, then I would assume two years after. Nice one. Well, so. I'm sure it will surpass uh, the first movie. Well, from your lips to God's ears, my friend. Thank you very well, thank much you. for your time today. Nice thank one. you.